Welcome back to Shan Zen Zen Jamaican Vibes. Inspiring, motivating, showcasing Jamaican talents, and giving back to my Jamaican people. Today we're going to showcase Trelawney Jamaica to the world. Yam capital and yam central of Jamaica. A beautiful, cool parish. And today we're going to be speaking with a young farmer in the parish, Mr. Paul Russell, a young farmer here in Lower River, Trelawney, for over 30 years. Today is going to be a lovely video. Make sure you watch it to the very end. You know, Shenzhen Zen Jamaican Valley is always promoting feeding Jamaica, feeding yourself, import less and export more. So I hope you will enjoy today's video. Welcome back to Shenzhen Zen Jamaican Vibes. Inspiring, motivating, showcasing Jamaican talents and giving back to my Jamaican people. Today we are in the beautiful Yam Parish of Trelawney in a community known as Lower River. And this is Mr. Paul Russell, a Yam farmer in the parish for more than 30 years. How are you doing today, sir? Not bad. Doing good. Very good. Okay. So how did you get into yam farming? Well, going from um, old appearance. Yeah. Mm, so my mother and father died and was a farmer and then died. So they leave it and we take it over. The younger son we take it over. Okay. So coming from the older generation. Okay, okay. And today you, you dug some yam. Yeah. Like about how much? Shipping. Mm. For shipping? Yeah. Okay, but if people want to buy it differently, yeah. like locals, Local, you sell the yeah, two. Yeah. And how much per pound for yam now? Two hundred dollar. Two hundred a pound out of the ground. Yeah. Okay. And this is yellow yam. Yeah, yellow yam. All right. So how much you, you dug up this month? Black What is it called? Black whisk. They call it black whisk. Oh, black, black whisk. Yeah. Okay. So about how much yam you think you dug up here this morning? About one thousand. About 1,000 pounds? Yeah, 1,000 yeah. Oh, that's a good amount. Yeah. And how big is your farm? Two lots of more than 2,000. Two, two more than 2,000 head I have? Yeah. Wow! That's small too. Yeah. More than that, yeah. More than that too, yeah. <laughs> okay. A big farming you're doing, man. What farm? Well, we use like, we plant yellow yam, negro yam. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have like beer jam, body sweet yam sometimes but then they are one time per year but we have like these right around right mm. so you don't have any challenges like with no, we do irish irish potato too. but one time a year like irish okay so you plant other crops like irish ginger oh you do ginger too okay so you don't have no problem with water because you get water from rainfall rainfall yeah Okay. But sometimes maybe we have like a jazz, so we have like jewelry, catch water, and everything we use. Okay. Life experience. Yeah. And this is a Sunday. And Sunday, Sunday is a typical day for. Bit, like Wednesday, Friday. Sometimes Saturday. That's when shipping comes in. Yeah, yeah. Shipping comes right through the week. Man. Okay, right through. Like Higlide, like Sunday, oh. Wednesday, and Friday. Okay, alright. So now we're going to go to Mr. Russell's farm. Why are you so rocky though? <laughs> oh, this is the river. Okay. So that's why they call it Lower River. Okay. Wow, look at the beautiful yam farms. Alright, no flip out this one too. You have pepper too? Sweet pepper? Why oh, did I know how to plant sweet pepper up here? Because I'm from St. Elizabeth and I know St. Elizabeth plant a lot of sweet pepper. Okay. Farm in here, right? know? Yeah, man. But true, I know it for the yam, yam and Irish. Okay. You do sweet potato up here too, right? No, we don't plant sweet potatoes anymore. Sweet potatoes are still dirt. Oh. It's still inside, so we don't really use sweet 
Oh, so like it killed the soil and then it made the, it not fertile for the yam. Yeah. Oh, a Manchester plant a lot of sweet potato. Yeah, I know you're, um, there's a mule, not you? Yeah, yeah this mule, me just use to oh. carry out the yam from my farm, so. Okay. So me just carry them one time back. So like mule, what are the, what, what, what the cost of your mule? Three, three hundred thousand, three fifty. Oh yeah? Mm, okay, one. So then, a donkey no more. Um, donkey, donkey, we spare work, man. Donkey can manage like we carry load. Oh, like heavy so like, load. All right, the donkey we carry like um, 400 them. Oh. The mule we carry 300, 350. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, so the mule is more better and left to the amount of them we are dig at the time. Too. Yes, yes. So if you are dig around 2,000 them, the donkey can carry it. Oh, true. You have to use mule to carry it out. Right. So, you will help full in every way. Right. Make a warm dandy dandy. Dand, so. Yes. Mm. My name looks clean and healthy though. Yeah, my name is good one. You only work with me four or five days in this week. Oh, yeah? You carry so, yam like stick. what? You, 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 oh, you carry yam stick? You carry yam stick, you carry yam, you carry lies, anything wherever I am, you carry it. Oh. You carry full manure, everything I am doing. So. Oh, you use and the full manure and the yam too? Yeah, in pan the yam. Okay, mm. good, good, good. I like that idea. So, like, what you feed the mule, what you give him to build, make him uh, strong? Give him, we call it, you know, same corn with um, molasses oh. and grass. Okay. Mm. And that make him fit and... Yeah, man, and drink what feed him from water. Okay. Mm. All right, come show us your farm. Oh, this look like yam heaven. Yam <laughs> heaven. But you have to be yam heaven because it's chillin', eh? Uh huh. Mm. What you said? This one small. It's small one. And it looks so big. Oh, hey boy. Damn it, I'm here, pretty man. Oh. This is. What we call Yam Heaven. So what you have in here is a dashin? Cocoa. Cocoa. Okay. Wow. These are some of the most beautiful yams I have I have ever seen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So um, how long ago you planted these yams? Alright, this, this um, the piece I did like um, September. September it's gonna dig? Yeah. Oh. So this one dig like December. Oh. Mm, it's a December yam. But oh, this piece is gonna dig December? Mm. Okay. This one there is gonna dig September. Oh, you have another piece around at the back? Yeah. That you're gonna dig September? Okay. Right. Yes, come show me some of the ripe ones. <coughs> Alright, this is a manure. Oh, it's the manure. That's a chicken manure? Yeah. Okay. So what the chicken manure do to the yam? Make it beer. Oh, make it beer. Mm. It's a big September. Okay. And that was September, see it? Yes, yes. Yeah, man. So yeah. you can't say that it's going to be yeah, a big hungry, one. If you're hungry, you can't come in and say, don't come and dig them eating. You, know. you oh. can't dig them out of the seat right now. You know. Okay. So if you're hungry, yeah. it's a grown bird, you can't dig them out of the Okay, okay. So, and look funny how it look. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, so, because everything looks right. green. Yes, yes. And when it, when it fully ripe, it, it yeah, gets yellow. It, yeah. And uh, it, uh, in the August, it's a yam can dig now. Okay, mm. man, yam feel pretty. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty. I take a next little walk through it. <laughs> All right, come this way. Okay. All right. We on the yam field with Mr. Russell. In Chelani, Jamaica. 
Yeah, I'm heaven. Yeah. I'm more than one thousand hills in the years they can dig. More than one thousand hills that can dig now? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this piece to the back behind this gutter here. Can dig. Oh. Over here, so now. So you have the, the head. Yeah. You extend. So alright, just like this piece where you dig now. Yeah. The amount of head where you get back out of this, you have to look, look on different piece of land to carry head go. It can increase it. Oh, I so, see. So this piece now is a young yam, so you will have them ahead now if you go back up. Yeah, yeah. So, every year you take care get increased, you know, so every dig you dig, if you dig 100 hill yam, yeah. you will work out, when you apply back, you work out 250, 180. Okay. With the increase. Uh. Yeah. You have always a fair plan to extend. Yes, plant yeah. It. So like this, you say about a thousand hills? A thousand hills up here, so you can dig. Okay. And down here, so different. And down here, different? Yeah. So about how much acre land you think it depends? Yes, uh, at most about one little three square land this one. But it have acre. but it have no hills. Yeah, this okay. Yeah, this but it's still big man. Yeah, yeah. And the, show, show more. Right. And one thing I noticed like here, um in St. Elizabeth they tend to plant. The um, wider part, you yeah. guys plant it closer. Yeah, man, because the um, up here so cool, yeah. scenty hot. Oh, okay. So you have to plant it to get, get it cool. But right. up here so, you see, I write them this one. You see, I want to cool right now. No, I have nothing to cut off. Oh, oh, oh. oh my. Yes, that ready. Uh huh. Okay. So every day, like, what time you'd wake up to come to the yam bush? This is where uh, the this morning after five. After five? After five, yeah. Yeah. And the day I don't go now, I go me the two months in the afternoon. Okay. And that is just for two days. Right. Tomorrow morning, I see him over again. Uh huh. Because we have to go back again tomorrow. We okay. Dig so yam tomorrow also. Yes, yes. So we have to go back and dig tomorrow from early. Right. So. I don't say go every day. Just as good day, you don't have work. You don't have work. You don't have work. You don't have any man. Yeah. I want a white man. You know, so I just deal with you. So you have to go work. Right. So I just see you. You have to do something for your for your, for your living. Yeah. So this is your sweet pepper? Okay. But this sweet pepper look like you recently planted. Yeah, just planted. Okay. Kalalu, Kalalu here. Oh, you're Kalalu too. You everything, man. Yeah, man. As you say, you're Kalalu. You're hungry. Yes. You have something to eat. Of course. So you have, you have to run to go buy everything. Exactly. You know, we have a really good thing where we can jump. Yeah, man, you cut some color one. Yeah. Big piece of yam and eat your color one. Yellow, yeah. Like yeah. Like yeah. As long as you say chill out. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm cut up some sweet pepper in your color one. Yeah. Nice. There's one lazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There is something. Right. So how most of the young youth them stay up here? They're willing to farm? Yeah man, they're yeah, 
They don't work, not true. Most of them are doing wrong. Maybe the little young that's last set them, you know. Yeah. No plane, they are the global one. And who not have them grown them with dig? Yeah, man, like they work with somebody. Yeah. But I mean, like the family, family man. Yes. No, so you have to work, you have to work. And oh. sometimes it's not that matter of say they know what to do. They have to do it because they, they grew up in a farming area. Some of them don't have no skill. Right. So I just dismiss it. Right. So right. we have to do. So you have to just decide to take and tell them, boy, I say go. Yes. I have to do this and this may come to me, mother and father with and I hit them support me after. Right. And I go get my family. So yes. I have to support the other. So yeah. I just say go. All right. Thank you so much for showing us your farm, Mr. Paul Russell. We do appreciate it. Yeah. I know the viewers who are overseas who haven't been back to Trelawney for a while are going to be delighted to see this beautiful yam farm video. So thank you guys for watching. You know, if you want yam for buy, you can reach uh, out yeah. well, to Mr. Yes. Paul Russell. I will put his number in the comment section and in the dis um, description of the video all right okay, you're welcome. yeah man so from here in lower river Trelawney, jamaica until next time walk good and make good doppy walk, walk with you, with you. Yeah. <laughs> you know,